Good afternoon, everyone. This video is going to be titled Perch Paint. It was a question from Seven Hills Loft, and it's a real good question. A real good question. First, I'm going to show you the product that I use, and then we'll talk about Perch Paint. I've got to be careful I don't spray the video. My tablet. Holding it with one hand. This is the product I use. I'll show it to you in better detail. I can't do that right now. But I just want to show you. When you press it down, it only makes one little spray. One little squirt. That's it. Do it again. That's it. <clears throat> now I'm going to walk where I can put this tablet down. And we'll be talking about perch paint, seven dust, and some of the other things flyers put on their birch. Some of them actually take a bag and put their pigeons in that bag to... Uh, Get rid of lice. This product, let me see if I can get it for you. It's called Fly Spray. Alright, take a good look at it. Country Vet. She got my glasses on. Fly spray. That can was designed to be in a dispenser. Basically, for horses. They would hang it in a barn, put two bad D cell batteries in it, put that in. Every 15 minutes, it gives you that spray. Keeps the flies out of the, out of the barns and off the horses. I used it in the pigeon coop, kept mosquitoes out, kept a lot of things out. I didn't like it because I didn't want the birds inhaling it too much. Actually, I spread it over there because I wanted to survive the day. My wife's got allergies and she smells this stuff, forget about it. Perch paint was a very old form. It was kerosene. They used to paint it on the perches, and the fumes would come up, supposedly keeping the bugs away. Seven dust. Guys dust their birds with it. Supposedly it keeps lice, mites, everything off the birds. Many years ago, they had a product called Carbola. It's basically a DDT. Took it off the market because we all know what happened with DDT. They sprayed the, the whole country with it. It killed a lot of things, a lot of bugs. It killed a lot of animals, too, and fish. And God knows how much we drank that they sprayed everything. I got sprayed with, with a Piper Cub flying overhead and little white spots all over me. But they did away with that. This product will take care of lice, and that's what we're concerned with. Because if you're using moxidextrin as a wormer, you're taking care of any bug that bites. Any bug. If it bites, moxidextrin gets rid of it. This stuff, when you spray it on your bird, And they got lice. And I get them once in a while with them white ones, especially the young ones in the nest. When I wean them, I spray them. An hour later, they are gone. You don't have lice on your pigeons. If you ever handled a pigeon that was loaded in lice and you had a white shirt on, maybe it's just a, a, 
a t-shirt, white. You handle the pigeon, you look down, you see all these little white things walking up and down, little black things walking up and down your shirt. This will take care of it. It will. If you were a flight flyer, non-performance pigeons again, you might want to get the dispenser and put it in your loft every 15 minutes. You won't have mosquitoes, you won't have flies, you won't have anything. This stuff gets rid of it. And you won't have lice either. It's real good. It's a real good product. I use it and I like it. And the way I do it, when I wean a bird, whether he's got them or not, I give him a couple shots under each wing. On the wing itself. Because they, they go on the they, they also get on the flight feathers. That seems to be their favorite spot. I spray that pretty good. Two shots. Each wing. Under the wing. Around the vent. Two shots around the vent. Bugs kind of like dampness, you know. Also, I sprayed them on each side. Careful not to get it in their eyes. You do that with this stuff. You won't have any lice on that pigeon in an hour, two hours for sure, and they don't come back. You can have to pick that bird up a week later, not back. So, Seven Hills Loft, great question, excellent question. I told you guys all the time, products change, times change. Years ago... Carbolo is great. Kept everything out of the law. Can't use it. Then they went to Seven Dust and Perch Paint. Not too effective. I found this by chance. I tried it, and it works. So, I'm hoping you guys get a little something out of this, because you got show birds or anything like that, you don't want that judge picking up a bird with lice on it. It's a good product. Try it. And you can get it at Tractor Supply. That's where I found this. I think it's 8 or $9. It goes a long way because it's just one little, not like a paint can where it keeps coming out. It's just one little shot. It's good stuff. Okay. Subscribe. Give it a thumbs up. Give it a thumbs down. Please check the channel. There's so much information on there for you beginners. Even some of you old timers, there's always something to learn. I watch videos too and I still learn. After many years of pigeons. Again, thank you for subscribing. Not subscribing. Thank you for watching.